Max has observed that for the constant diameter horizontal pipe, pressure is differing even from one point to another. But according to Bernoulli's principle, it should be the same as there is no change in the elevation or diameter of the pipe. So, is it violating Bernoulli's principle? Can you help Max? Bernoulli's principle is not violated here, pressure is reduced because of friction. It is generally known as friction head loss in fluid mechanics. It's an important concept to understand if you're working with fluid systems, so let's dive into the details. We have already talked about what we mean by head. But in short, the head is a measure of the energy that a fluid possesses due to its position or motion. It's often expressed in units of length, such as feet or meters. The higher the head, the more energy the fluid has. Now, when a fluid flows through a pipe, it experiences resistance due to the walls of the pipe and other factors like changes in direction or flow rate. This resistance causes the pressure of the fluid to drop as it moves through the pipe. This drop in pressure is what we call frictional head loss. The amount of frictional head loss depends on several factors, including the diameter and length of the pipe, the flow rate of the fluid, and the roughness of the pipe walls. There are various equations and calculations that can be used to determine the heat head loss in a given system, one is Darcy Weisbach equation as shown here. Let's take a closer look at each of these factors. The diameter of the pipe is one of the most important factors when it comes to head loss. Generally speaking, larger diameters will have less frictional head loss than smaller diameters. This is because the larger diameter provides more space for the fluid to flow, reducing the velocity of the fluid and thus the amount of pressure drop. The length of the pipe is also a factor in the head loss. As the fluid flows through a long pipe, it will encounter more resistance and thus experience a greater drop in pressure. This is why it's important to minimize the length of piping wherever possible. The flow rate of the fluid is another important factor in head loss. Higher flow rates will result in greater frictional head loss, because the fluid will be moving at a higher velocity and encountering more resistance. This is why it's important to design fluid systems with appropriate flow rates for the intended application. Finally, the roughness of the pipe walls can also impact frictional head loss. If the walls of the pipe are rough, the fluid will experience more resistance and thus a greater drop in pressure. Smooth walls, on the other hand, will reduce the amount of resistance and therefore the amount of head loss. This is taken care of by the friction factor in the equation. There are many ways to calculate friction factors. One of the ways is the Moody chart. So, why does frictional head loss matter? Well, when designing or analyzing fluid systems, it's important to understand how much pressure drop will occur due to friction so that you can ensure that the system will still function properly. For example, if you're designing a water distribution system for a building, you'll need to make sure that the pressure at the furthest point from the water source is still sufficient for the intended use. There are also ways to minimize the frictional head loss in fluid systems. One way is to use pipes with smoother walls, which will reduce the amount of resistance that the fluid encounters. Another way is to use larger diameter pipes, which can reduce the velocity of the fluid and thus the amount of pressure drop. In conclusion, the frictional head loss is an important concept in fluid mechanics that describes the loss of pressure that occurs as a fluid flows through a pipe or other conduit. It's impacted by factors like pipe diameter, length, flow rate, and wall roughness, and can be minimized through careful system design. Understanding frictional head loss is critical for anyone working with fluid systems, and we hope this video has helped to clarify this concept for you. If you have liked our video then please subscribe to our channel and you can contact us by Instagram, Facebook, or email. Have happy learning!